Hi guys, this is the first video of my GTK series. In this video, I will mostly talk about setup kind of things. So let's roll the intro and then get started. All right, first thing first, let me tell you what platform I'm using for the complete series. This is Debian based Linux distribution and you may have guessed the right it's Ubuntu and version is 20.04. The second thing is which version of GTK I'm going to use. The latest version of GTK available at the point of recording this video is GTK 4 but I'm going to continue with GTK 3. The reason why I'm choosing GTK 3 over GTK 4 is that GTK 4 is very new and there is no distributor of GTK 4 available for now. So you have to download complete GTK and setup environment on your own by downloading all files from gtk.org. This is the website of GTK and here you see a download button. Go select your operating system like this is Linux. So I select Linux and here you will see all files for GTK 4. And you can read here that current stable API version of GTK is 4. But yes, we are going to use GTK 3 for this series. On the other hand, for GTK 3, we have min distributor available and we can simply write one line of command in terminal and gtk3 along with this environment will be set up the next thing i want to discuss is the language i'm going to use for the entire series uh, so i choose the language c so that i can show you how you can build gui applications using c programming language the last thing left is the reference so whenever you stuck somewhere you can directly refer to the respective video in my series or you can go to this documentation gtk3 has a very rich documentation available on the genome website you can see here developer.genome.org and further you see gtk3 and stable so this refer this documentation is for stable version of gtk3 i personally use this documentation whenever i stuck somewhere all right so without further ado let's install gtk3 on your ubuntu so let's open our terminal Control alt t this is the shortcut to open your terminal to install gtk you must be a sudo user or you must know the sudo passwords so that your system authenticates you and allow to install but I'm very lazy to type sudo after every command. So what I'll do, I just start my sudo terminal from here. Type sudo s and it will ask for your password. Just enter password for the first time and then you are good to go. So alright, that's good. Now type apt install lib gtk hyphen 3 hyphen dev then press enter and uh, now it's working so gtk3 is downloaded and installed on my system the version is 3 to confirm your gtk3 is installed correctly you can simply check its version by running this particular command which is d kg hyphen s lib gtk hyphen 3 hyphen 0 and this will return you whole complete things but i am interested in version only so let's use grip and search for version hit enter yes you see here version 3.24.20 and it's writing here ubuntu so yeah that's all in this video in the next video i will start with some coding part and uh, i hope you like this series 
subscribe to my channel and share with your friends to let them know how they can build GUI applications using C programming language. Alright, let's catch in the next video.